Hi, Jim Williams. I'm here at my home club, Old Natchez Country Club, Nashville, Tennessee. And I'm working on the range with some ideas of sort of how to visualize and kind of get in your head some swing changes that you might be making and how you can use your mind to work more in your favor. So I got a couple balls down here. I'm just going to run through a couple of things that I see with different students and sort of corrections that you can make in your mind with imagery that will help. So let's take, for instance, somebody who has kind of a really long, kind of a flippy swing like this, kind of gets way past parallel, you know, real disconnected, something like that. So if I have a client like that, I may work on kind of tightening up their motion, so to speak, making it a little more compact, maybe a little wider. But what I might do is have them think about the club head. Instead of the club head pointed sort of behind my left ear like this, I may have them think more in an image of pointing the club head into the sky, like it's pushing into a cloud, something like that. So I feel like I'm pointing the club up more instead of behind me. And usually what that'll do is that'll make them sort of make an adjustment in their head with where the club is. So it's a lot shorter, kind of a wider swing. So it's a real good image, feeling like the club head sort of up in the cloud, something like that. Here's another really good one. A lot of players that I see kind of have reverse pivot. They straighten that right leg. They don't load their trail leg. Now, some players straighten a little bit, and that's just fine. But for those of you that lock the leg, think of your leg as like a spring, like a big hydraulic spring. So when you're hitting balls, imagine your leg is like a little big spring coil. When you go back, you're going to spring down into it. Use your mind and imagine this. Turn back, spring a little bit. See if it doesn't help you stay more in your right side on your backswing. So I feel that. I felt like I almost squatted on my backswing. It's a very powerful feeling. I really did feel like I spring-loaded my right side. I love that feeling. So here's one more example, and you can apply this to lots of different things, sort of thinking through the club and not so much beyond kind of what you're doing with your body, which is, let's say you're a scooper, somebody that sort of hits behind the ball, hangs back a little bit. What you struggle with is sort of the idea of having some shaft lean or you're having your hands in front of the ball. So you may be trying or thinking about trying to push your hands ahead. But what you should think about is feel almost like your shaft and the shaft of the club is leaning forward, almost like it's tilting this way. You can in your mind sort of visualize the shaft leaning forward instead of forcing your hands forward. That type of image tends to help people. So you're going to kind of imagine this in your head, a shot, and hopefully you can feel like you can get a little more lean, a little more swipe on the ball, and a lot more solid contact. So try these ideas, sort of external images, visual images. They're really effective cues to help you make good swing changes. Good luck.